All right, so in continuing my wanting to see what this red armor oil does, um, I have uh, this saw here, which is the oldest saw that I bought brand new. Um, and uh, sometimes they say the year on this little tag here. Um, but roughly 2009 if i'm if i'm remembering correctly one of these days i should go down to the uh steel dealership the saw shop and uh see if they can pull my records because i don't remember exactly when i got some things but um this this saw here i've run a lot of different fuels and oils through um but for the last several years I don't know, um, six years maybe. It's been nothing but Avgas and 25 to 1 Royal Purple. Now, I'm not able to get a shot up into the top of the cylinder, um, but there is some shit buildup, carbon buildup on the top of the cylinder. And uh, got some in the exhaust port there. But the side of the piston looks gorgeous. Um, nothing to speak of there and there are some fine scratches on the cylinder and i was noticing actually that my 660 is the same way um, as far as some fine scratches on the cylinder evidently and if somebody knows better than i do please chime in that apparently steel has updated their fuel filter part number um, because their old fuel filter evidently was a 20 micron filter and their new one is 10 micron and so maybe that's why so i ordered a bunch of new fuel filters and uh i'm gonna put them in all my different shit because if there's a tighter micron fuel filter available now um that sounds like a good idea to me <coughs> and so here's the fire screen out of it looks gorgeous and beautiful um and two somebody has some input on this but i've noticed that if you tune the saw to where you get this mm, ash colored look i guess in the muffler and the fire screen that usually that you know um usually if you see a spark screen that looks like this um it's a pretty good indication that the saw is tuned in pretty well um but yeah i got a little piece of tape on the side here i think what i'm going to do is run this for five tanks of fuel um, where I run the Avgas and 25 to 1 Red Armor Oil, and then we'll take it apart and look at it again. Oh, and evidently, before I put it away last time, I put a brand new spark plug in it, so we can't see what the spark plug looked like. Alright, so I got the 390 here after five tanks of fuel, although I forgot to mark a couple of those on there. <coughs> um... I actually forget what this looked like before. So, I guess it'll be kind of cool to look back on the video. The, uh, and see what this all looks like, but there's a lot of just chalky shit on top of the piston. And uh, I can't actually remember if it looked like that before or not. Um, I, uh, I want to say it was all like black on top of the piston. Um, and uh, this one doesn't have, this one doesn't have the year on this sticker but uh i want to say i got this on like 2008 um so of course i replaced the plug before i put it away last 
and so that's only like I said about five tanks of fuel on it in normal cutting for me um, which would be a combination of limbing and bucking um, it's not like I solely limb with the saw and it's not like I constantly buck with a you know 30 inch bar on it or whatever um, just kind of a mix and uh spark arrestor screen looks the same if not actually has right in the center of the screen there's a little speck on there um this uh coloring in the muffler looks more white than it was before and uh i haven't i haven't adjusted the carburetor at all from where it was before i left the carburetor adjustment alone and uh I want to say that the exhaust port looks a tiny little bit better than it did before, but I, like I said, I don't remember how it looked and I haven't looked back on the video yet. But uh, the side of the piston there looks a little dirtier than I remember. But otherwise, it looks pretty good. Um, I uh, I wish it looked better, um, like just the saw condition in general. Um, it's kind of it's kind of weird to just I guess think of how much work I've gotten done with a saw over the years. Um, but yeah. So, uh, again, that was 25 to 1 uh, Avgas and the Echo Red Armor oil. Um, I've been using that oil in all of my other stuff, and, you know, so far I uh, seem to like it. It, uh, it smells better when it burns than the Royal Purple did. Not that, like, that's all that big of a deal. Um, but I did think that that was kind of interesting that, uh, I don't know, it, uh, I guess just smells a little better. But, uh, I'll splice these two videos together and take a look at it and, uh, see if I can kind of tell any difference there. So the reason I didn't watch the, uh, the, like, first video there before, um, you know, making the most recent one here was I wanted to be as unbiased as possible anyways. Um, looking at the cylinder and the top of the piston and what have you on this thing because, you know, I genuinely wanted to see what that red armor oil would do. And um, it's interesting how it kind of looks like that really just kind of the color changed on the top of the piston and the exhaust port and what have you. Um, this saw here is obviously like rather coked up, uh, on the inside, uh, relative to some, to my other saws. Um, the inside of my 660, uh, looks fucking fantastic in comparison to this here. Um, but this one here still runs fucking awesome. Um, and you know, you can still see all the machining marks on the piston and what have you, which is really cool. But, uh. But anyways, so now that I've run the couple tanks of fuel through there, the red armor oil, I wanted to try out a stock muffler again, just for shits and giggles, basically. And so I found a used but good shape uh, factory uh, muffler to put on this thing and I'm going to run that on there for a little while, like I said, just for shits and giggles. And uh, it's it's really interesting, I find, to see the color difference between the fire screens and the like muffler cut
cover here. Whatever saw this came off of was obviously running a lot richer than mine here. And, uh, you know, you can see a little bit of shit, a little bit of carbon on the uh, fire screen there. But otherwise, um, otherwise it looks pretty good. You know, it's not totally crapped up or whatever. Um, and it's kind of interesting, too, to see how see how restrictive the factory port is compared to what I did with mine there and then you know that was what I did with the muffler ports there I had originally you know, made these extra ports, um, like on the outside of the baffle. And then I just said, fuck it and drilled out the center of it. And, um, it's definitely louder than it was before. Um, but it's not anything crazy, surprisingly enough. And, uh, it runs quite good with, uh, uh, with this muffler on here. Um, you know, it's, um, it's, the saws are kind of choked down a lot, um, evidently just because of emissions. And I don't know, maybe it's noise regulation or something too. Um, but in, in, in modern saws anyways, it seems that the, uh, that the exhaust is typically always very, very choked down and, uh, they'll actually run, you know, a fair bit better by doing nothing other than opening up the exhaust ports um yeah so for what it's worth there you go